It's possibly the most hyped car in automotive history. The world is addicted to oil, but we're here to offer a solution. The Cybertruck. The Cybertruck buzz has remained so high that even two years since its reveal, Google's data showed it was by far the most searched for EV in the US and the world last year. And honestly, it's a stroke of genius in its design because it's controversial, it's questionable, and most importantly, it's polarizing exactly how Elon likes it. There's no denying that on the surface, the demand for all things Cybertruck are insanely high. The $60 Cyber Whistle sold out in minutes. The $500 Cybertruck RC, the $2,000 Kids Cyber Quad all sold out within minutes. Heck, even the Cyber Socks sold out in minutes. But some argue that Cybertruck's biggest flaw is that it seems to be slowly becoming Elon's pet project. A little too feature rich and possibly way too complicated. And if Tesla history has anything to say about it, it could end up being a lot like Elon's other favorite pet project, the Model X back in 2015, what Elon once called his Fabergé egg of cars. I mean, we even developed a <laughs> sonar that could see through metal right. that the military doesn't have. Uh, that's crazy. And, and that was just so that we could avoid having a puck uh, uh, in, a the, visible in the, puck. a visible yeah. puck in the door. We developed yeah. sonar that could see through metal. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> We should not have done that. The X was packed with so many great features all at once that it became both a production and service nightmare for Tesla, likely costing the company millions in the early goings. So much new technology. I mean, there's like, I mean, the amount of hubris we put into the Model X was really astounding. The, the car is made of hubris. Elon took the blame. He said internally he got a lot of grief on just how much he pushed the envelope to make the Model X do so much to stand out. So fast forward to 2022, and a lot of people, myself included, are starting to feel like the Cybertruck is sounding a lot like the Model X in its early days. So it left me wondering, could the Cybertruck be Tesla's next Fabergé egg of trucks? And is that really a bad thing? Cybertruck's gonna be an incredible product. I think it's maybe our, our best product ever, and I think it probably will be. So just about every few months, we get a whiff of a soundbite, an interview, or a tweet from Elon revealing a little more about how out of this world the Cybertruck will be. Here are just some of the features Elon has either teased, hinted at, or we've seen leaked images and videos. A solar roof, quad motors, rear steering, ability to crab walk, exoskeleton from stainless steel, bulletproof body, ability to power itself off-grid, inflate its own tires, yoke steering, no door handles, workhorse for moon or Mars, and just plain more features than any other Tesla ever built. And of course, the truck was delayed from 2021 to 2022 to now 2023. Plus, some argue its biggest selling point is long gone. The base price of $39,000 now seems almost impossible given what we know about the truck. So just a few weeks ago, Reuters reported that the Cybertruck production ramp being delayed to Q1 of 2023, and it was largely because Elon wanted to add more features to make the truck more competitive with trucks like F-150 Lightning and Rivian R1T. So what could Tesla possibly be adding to the already crazy specs of the Cybertruck to make it feature competitive with those newcomers? But before I get there, I do wanna tell you, we've teamed up with Charity Stars because they're raffling off a 2022 Rivian R1T with the Adventure Package plus $10,000 cash. The Rivian R1T is the first electric pickup built on a American soil with a zero to 60 of three seconds and eight drive modes. The R1T can tackle just about any terrain, including three feet of water. You get over 800 horsepower, 314 miles of range, and 11,000 pounds of towing capacity, and they'll pay the taxes and shipping for you here in the U.S. Donations benefit the Adopt the Arts Foundation, a charity whose mission is to support art and music programs to all students, regardless of where they live or go to school. Go to charitystars.com Kim and enter code Kim for 100 free entries. Click on the link in the description and the free entry will be applied or go to charitystars.com slash Kim for your chance to win 2022 Rivian R1T while supporting a great cause. 
So when it comes to the Rivian R1T, clearly we know Tesla is looking at some of those features as well. The Rivian R1T has the quad motor powertrain and just about every reviewer has raved about its performance off-road, yet how seamlessly it transitioned to being sports car-like on-road. It seems to have the most versatile truck bed with lockable storage underneath and a full-size spare, multiple 110 volt outlets, air compressor, a gear tunnel with more outlets, a massive automated front trunk, and it ships with Driver Plus, which is Rivian's autopilot equivalent. We've also seen the tank turn feature advertised, but that hasn't yet made it to market. There will be a lower range 250 mile model, plus a 400 mile range model coming down the line too. The starting price is right around $67,000. That's in stark contrast to the Ford F-150 Lightning that's offering a starting price of just under $40,000, though there are three other trims that take the truck's price to over $90,000. The smaller battery in the F-150 Lightning only nets you 230 miles of range, while the larger pack tops out at 300 miles. Of course, this falls pretty short of Rivian's high-end 400 plus mile range and Cybertruck's high-end 500 plus mile range that's been promised. Now the one feature the F-150 Lightning has been promoting that I personally think Tesla could incorporate with this delay is adding the ability to bi-directionally charge. So this feature allows the F-150 Lightning to basically serve as a backup generator for your home in the event of an outage. This could be an incredible selling point for Cybertruck with more juice on board to begin with. The Lightning also has a towing capacity of up to 10,000 pounds on the larger pack, but falls short of Rivian's 11,000 pounds and Cybertruck's 14,000 pound towing that have been advertised. The Lightning's dual motor setup is also the simplest approach in its all wheel drive system and will likely have the biggest front trunk. It offers Ford's blue cruise mode, which is its autopilot equivalent. So Ford obviously knows what they're doing when it comes to pickup trucks because they've dominated that market for decades and have tons of experience building feature rich trucks. You can't say that about Rivian or Tesla, but it will be interesting to see if that holds true once all three trucks are on the road at the same time. Of course, there's the Chevy Silverado EV, GMC Sierra and Hummer EV, plus Toyota Tacoma EV, just to name a few. But they're either expected to come to market after the Cybertruck or its price point advertised features are not in line with the three trucks that we've talked about today. So the one thing we know the Cybertruck will have an advantage on is probably the most important physical part of any EV the battery pack. We know it'll feature the 4680 cells in structural battery pack, which will inevitably increase its range, give it better performance and safety. Plus, it's also expected to increase margins for Tesla. Elon has gone as far as saying, quote, Cybertruck will be like a glitch in the matrix, like if Neo had a car. He said this in a company-wide meeting with Tesla employees back in September, acknowledging to Tesla employees that there is going to be so much new technology in the truck that the production ramp up is going to be very difficult. It has a lot of new technology, so it's a, it's a hard car to make of it. It will be awesome. And on several occasions, Elon has even publicly said the Cybertruck could be a complete flop and he really doesn't even care because he loves it so much even if others don't. Of course, with the Model X, it took years for the height to taper off and even longer for the SUV to be refined enough to ramp to a few thousand units per quarter. The Cybertruck though is a high volume, lower cost truck, so the room for error is much thinner. With over a million reservations in queue, if any of those new and groundbreaking features come to market and have any setbacks, what would that really look like for the company? We already know that Cybertruck won't be the first in the EV truck space. The Rivian R1T and the Ford F-150 Lightning will have already beaten it to the punch. Now, Steve Jobs once said about smartphones, quote, we're not going to be the first to this party, but we're going to be the best. So maybe Elon Musk has this sort of approach when it comes to the Cybertruck, and I wouldn't be surprised by that whatsoever. When it comes to the crazy complicated Model X, everything that he promised about the X, the functionality of the wings with kids, the automatic front doors, big windshield, these are all why I think the X is by far and away the best car Tesla has ever made. 
but again, it is a low volume $100,000 SUV. So it'll be interesting to see what other possible new features come to the Cybertruck and what if any challenges that they might pose for volume production this time next year. So I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the Cybertruck and if you also feel it might be more complex or more difficult to produce given everything that we know. So share your thoughts down below. And as always, there is a lot of time, research and effort that goes into videos like this. So if you learned something new or found this video interesting, we would really appreciate a like and subscribe for more unique videos like this that we have coming every single week and I'll catch you guys next time.